Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna keep on going. Just gonna try and finish uh, this playthrough of Alan Wake as soon as possible so we can get to um, some Mass Effect tomorrow because of the new Overlord pack. So I am gonna be speaking a little bit more uh, quietly because it is um, 11.30 at night so I want to be sure I keep my voice down. But uh, we're gonna have some fun and maybe get some scares. <laughs> there was a message waiting for me on the machine. Oh nice. Message. Well, let's see what else is here. Is there anything in the closet? Ah. Interesting. So this is two years ago, and this is supposed to be Alice's room. I'm pretty sure. I've been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TV. Look at all the smog outside. Man, that's New York for you. <laughs> Alright, let's turn on the TV. Interesting. They have the actual actor for for Alan Wake on there. Hmm. Alex Casey. Nice. 
myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. I'm <laughs> over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Start writing again. I'm oh, sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, honey. Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. On vacation, just you and me. So peace and quiet. Hmm. So that was two years ago. Okay. Back to the present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Culver Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Well, why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door. Aw, oh, Barry. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I flicked the switch to the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Culkin Lake, about to use the clicker. Interesting. That's where I was headed. Okay. So, right now we, we have to get to the lake and then use the clicker and it'll probably reveal the, the cabin. And then Wake can go in and finish his story. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream. A delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Ah, oh, doesn't look like I can shoot the, uh, Pop cans. 